Okay, so let's use quantum numbers to fully describe the third and the sixth electrons in the atom carbon, okay? So the thing I like to do first when I'm doing this is to say we've got carbon, and then I'm going to draw its electron diagram, okay? So 1s, 2s, 2p. Like that. Energy increasing there. So, what did we say? The third electron and the sixth electron, right? So, what I mean by that is the way that you feel by the off valve principle. Okay? So, the first electron would be there, second electron, third electron is that electron there. So, let's just circle it so we know that we're going to be describing that one in particular. And then carbon has six electrons, so fourth, fifth, sixth. So that'll be the other electron that we described. Okay, so the third electron, its principal quantum number is going to be what, guys? You guys can help me out. Two, right? So, what did we say? Um, if it's an s orbital, its angular momentum is going to be what? Zero. And m sub l correlates directly with l, right? So it's got to be zero as well. Okay, so remember, typically we describe the first electron going in the orbital as plus one half. Okay, so in this case, this was the first electron to go in that orbital. It's pointed up as well, so we'll call that plus one half. So that's for the third electron. Does that um, answer your question about? Okay, so let's do number six now. So what would N be in this case? Two, again. Two, L, one, one, right? Because it's a p orbital in this case. M sub L. So in this case, it's going to be zero. Why? Because this is negative one, this is zero, this is positive one, like that. Okay. So this one's going to be zero. And was it the first electron in or the second electron in? Zero? The first, so it's going to be plus one half. Does that make sense now? Okay. Should we do one that has a second electron going in? Or? No, no. Do you want to do, we can do, do you want to do one, uh, one more? We can do one more. Let's just do, let's do the second electron, okay? So what would N be? Well, let's circle it. So which one would be the second one? This one here, right? Okay, so what would N be? One. What would L be? Zero. Why? Because it's an S orbital. What would L be? Our N, M sub L? Zero as well. Our M sub Ls are pretty lame in this, this video, but this time, it's the second electron to go in, so we would describe it as negative one half, right? Okay, so hopefully that answers everyone's question. <coughs> Any more questions on that? Did you have a question? No. Okay. Do you have a question? Yeah. Yeah, so when you get to the D, is this going to be more spread like negative two, negative one, the or one? Uh-huh, yeah, there's five of them. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's five of them. Go back to when we uh, wrote it out in our notes and look at it and prove to yourself that, you know, you can do these things with the new orbit. But you'll be doing those as well. Okay. But that's a good question. Any more questions? Okay, good. <coughs>